continues with Drew Blair. Financial woes continue across the United States and around the world. The troublesome spotlight is currently on Europe and what it's doing with the situation going on in Greece. And here to help us explain a little bit about what's going on in Greece is Doug Lockwood. He is the Chief Investment Officer at Hefty Wealth Partners. Thank you so much for coming in once again. Glad to be here. Now, economics can be confusing for a lot of people. So can you just explain to us really what is happening overseas? Certainly. With Greece, which is the primary problem, at least at this point in time, Right. They are not bringing in enough income to meet their debt obligation, to pay their interest payment. It's coming from two different scenarios. One, their economy is weakened, and the economies around them are also in a bit of a weakened state. And since their primary revenue growth comes from tourism, it's hurting them. They're not able to bring that revenue in that they were able to before. Secondarily, the Greek government is still spending more than it's bringing in. And that's a problem. And so you've created some bailout opportunities. And a bailout in in this last round is a restructuring of their debt and at the same time trying to help them find ways to reduce spending. So what is what's happening over there? How is that really affecting you and myself and everyone watching? Well, our investments. If we're investing in the stock market or even if we're investing in the bond market, these companies have assets that they've pledged or have bought overseas. So there's exposure to Greece. And then if Greece is weakening, that exposure is weakening the share prices, our share values in these companies here. On a second type of situation, if the companies we've invested in are selling goods and services to Greece or anywhere in the European Union, because you see all the countries are traded on the same currency. And if one country is weakening that entire block's currency, our goods and services become expensive. And that impacts us not only in share prices, but in job growth. So your advice on this, is this something that people should spend some anxiety over or let it ride out? How are they keeping their eye on it? How should they? Well, we should never sit back and assume everything's going to turn out just fine. So what we try to do with clients is take time to understand what's going on, make appropriate investment decisions, create some contingency plans, utilizing cash when appropriate. But secondarily, we work with clients so that they can plan. Everybody should have a plan for what they want in the future. But they also ought to take a look at the plan if something were to derail the plan. What contingencies should be going on? So as an investor in this particular environment, we ought to spend time trying to absorb as much information as we can, then seek out financial help. And you mentioned that word bailout. We've heard that used in the U.S. quite a bit. So how would that impact the U.S. if there's a European bailout? In a, from a simple standpoint, bigger economies can absorb problems in smaller economies. Where it starts to hit our shores beyond what we've already talked about is if a small economy is creating a problem for a little bit bigger economy, and if that little bit bigger economy is also struggling, pretty soon it's kind of this rippling effect, and it hits our shores a little quicker. Now, is it going to collapse our economy? No, but it's going to have a big impact if they don't resolve it. Well, Doug, we certainly appreciate your thoughts on this. This is uh, confusing for a lot of us, so to be able to bring it down and understand it, I'm sure was very helpful to everyone watching. So thanks again for coming in. Thanks for having me be.